Hey y'all, it's your girl Diamond the Gym, the Gym. Back with another one, another one. Okay, y'all. So I do want to go ahead and y'all, y'all like my new shades. I just bought these. I like shades, but it's so hard to find like shades that you like really, 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 really like. I like these though. They're like light. You know what I'm saying? Not too dark, but perfect. Like, uh, reminds me of that song, you know. You think you're cooler than me? Okay. <laughs> Okay, y'all. So, yes, it's your girl Dominic Jim. And let's hop right on into this. And I want to talk about um I want to talk about the heart. Mm. Mm. Okay, so we're going to talk about heartbreaks and we're going to talk about how God can and will mend your broken heart, okay? Um literally, if you are going through a heartbreak, we go through heartbreaks because of many different things. You could be going through a heartbreak because of betrayal, because of somebody did you wrong you can be going through heartbreak because of a relationship a breakup um there's many different reasons that could cause you to go through a heartbreak many different things can happen you can be going through a loss somebody could die in your family you could be dealing with grief and that will cause heartbreak heartache you get what i'm saying so sometimes when we have those moments people die from heartbreaks heartbreaks are very serious like you know you ever see an older person um the wife died two days later the husband died you get what I'm saying? I had a, a great uncle. Um, His wife died. His ex-wife died. Two weeks later, he died. I know for a fact he died of heartbreak. I It was love. It was love. He, he loved her. And his heart was broken when she passed. You get what I'm saying? So, um, boom. Off that. When you have a heartbreak, how do you deal with that? How do you... How do you deal with that? Being a Christian, being a believer, or just being a person in general. My videos are not just for Christians, but I am a believer. So... I'm always trying to uplift the kingdom of God and address the believers and help them to understand. Um, but it's for everybody. Everybody. I don't care what you believe in. Period. Jesus loves us all. Period. Okay. So, yes. So, whenever you are dealing with a heartbreak, take your heart and give it to God. Give God your heart with the broken pieces. Your heart could be shattered into a million pieces. You take your heart with your broken pieces and you give it to the Lord. You say, God, this is all I have. But you can have it. And he's going to say... I'll take it. I'll take it. God takes us when we're broken, when we're nothing, when we're, I don't even know what to say about us. Sometimes, I'm talking about like, I guess before, I don't know, I don't know. But sometimes we just be, I don't know, us. And God takes us broken. He takes us however we are. He's like, come on. I don't care what your issues are. I don't care what your flaws are. God is like, come on. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, um, so like as far as, I'm, um, I'm sorry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So I went through a heartbreak recently. You guys, this was like, I feel like the test of my life. I feel like this was the test of my life. You know what I'm saying? This was a test, the test of my life. I, um, I didn't know how to explain how I was feeling besides my heart. When I was talking to God, I was like, God, my heart, you know, like my heart hurts. You know what I'm saying? My heart my heart and i cried and i cried and i was really experiencing a severe heartbreak a severe heartbreak and um betrayal and all type of mess but to god be the glory y'all when i say I'm, let me take off my shades out so y'all can see my face when i'm talking to god be the glory do y'all hear me you get what i'm saying life is always gonna be life things are always gonna happen stuff is always gonna be up and down but god the people who hurt me God helped me to forgive them fast. Within a week of what happened, happened. God helped me to forgive them. I almost, I was literally going through mentally like I was about to lose my mind. God was like, no, you're not. You're not about to lose your mind. He told me that. I was like, God, I ain't going to make it through this. God, why do you think I'm strong enough for this? He said, you going to make it and you're strong enough. I'd be like, Lord, I'm not strong enough. Why do you think I'm strong enough? He said, I'm strong enough. But I tell y'all what, I'm not strong enough in my own strength. But in God's strength, oh, baby, we making it. Oh, baby, we made it. Yeah. Man, and you got to trust what God allows. I want to touch there real quick. You're going through your heartbreak. Give your heart to God. God is faithful. Sometimes he'll heal your heart with even, you know what I'm saying? With even, you won't even feel the pain that you was feeling. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes God will just touch your heart. You get what I'm saying? Um, whenever I was going through, I just started worshiping God. I was crying and worshiping, crying and worshiping. I just had to worship God because I knew, like, I wasn't going to make it without him. 
and he came through for me he's very faithful god is a gentleman trust him and oh let me piggyback i'm sorry thank you holy spirit thank you holy spirit thank you. trust what he allows trust what he allows do not allow bitterness to come in because you don't understand why god allowed this horrible thing to happen don't allow don't give up on your faith don't give up on your faith. The enemy is after your faith, baby. The enemy is after your faith in God. Trust God. God will give you double for your trouble. God will give you back more than you lost. Okay? God will set up a freaking table in front of the in front of your enemies so that you can eat in front of them. Okay? The same people who did you wrong, God will bless you in front of them. Whenever you're going through, whenever somebody does you wrong, you try your best to hold your mouth. You try your best not to let just anything come out of your mouth and you ask God for wisdom and what you do speak. If something bad happens, do nothing, say nothing. You be quiet and you sit for a little bit so that the Holy Spirit can lead you. Because he might say, hold on, wait a minute. You right now where you're at with your, with your mouth and your mind, I know what you're thinking. I know what you want to say. Let me, let me isolate you for a few weeks, first of all, so I can heal you. Maybe you don't need to talk to nobody for a few weeks because I need you to sit and be in my presence so that I can pour out some oil onto you, baby, and, and make you brand new, okay? God allows things to come and sh make us better, man. Make us better. Make us better. Uh, okay, I ain't going to keep going on on this, but if you're dealing with, uh, I'm thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm definitely going to Holy Spirit press. But whenever you are going through a heartbreak, you take your heart and you give it to God. Tell him, say, God, my heart is broken. Look up scriptures about broken heart. And God is near to the broken heart. God is near. Okay? You might have felt like everybody else might have forgotten about you, given up on you. But God, but God, God never, he never, he never. A lot of the times we give up on God. And God is a gentleman. He's not pushy. He don't want to force his way on us. You know? Okay, y'all. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm about to do the other video that I got to do. You know? But I love y'all. <laughs>